Zhang and Zheng against another Indonesian pair, Puspita Sari and Rose. And here they come. Both great pairs, effective, uh, and can win on the day. And a very close head-to-head -head between them. I'll tell you that. This a repeat of the 2021 Orléans Masters final that was won by Prajongjai and Kitty Tarakul. I should say Kitty Tarakul and Prajongjai. That's generally the order of it. And there's that head-to-head 6-5. Last time they met was at the Hong Kong Open in 2023. But as you said, Greg, they met at the Olympics before. Yes, they did, where the Stoeva sisters right. were victorious. Yeah, came through. So this could go either way. Both have their attacking flares. And, of course, sir, a good sir, arsenal of weapons to choose from. But it's really, as we've seen all day here on Court 1, about who's got the, um, the most uh, hunger for it. Yeah, I'm just looking at the coin toss there. Uh, another 1-1. One, one. Uh, this is the third match in a row on court one. And every player or pair has chosen the near, near side. Near side, yes. yeah. Well, it's worked out well for a few. So 30-year-old uh, John, Col John Colfan Kitty Tarokun from Chiang Mai up in north of Thailand. And currently ranked 10th, and they have been as high as 5. And... That was back in December of 2022. And there's her partner, Rwinda Prajongjai, also 30, born in Bangkok, capital city. And I said they are effective when they do get their game on. They have that great, and that was their first tournament result, round one. Caitlin Nia and Gronia Somerville, who's joined us in the commentary box before. That was 25 minutes, 21-8, 21-9. So they were in very uh, attacking form then. But that's the thing with that pair. If they do get on their game, then they can be uh, very, very effective. Gabriel Stover, 29 years old, born in Haskova in Bulgaria, uh, currently ranked 24th and has been as high as 8. And that was back in November of 2018. And there's her younger sister, Stefani, 28 years old. And um, born in Galabova in Bulgaria. So back in 2018, uh, number well, world number eight, but they've also been, of course, double gold medalists at the European Games. That was 2015 and last year. First tournament result for them against Lee and Yu, another up and coming Chinese pair. 45 minutes and they dropped a game there. Stueva sisters also four time, three time gold medalists in the European Championships. Our umpire, Mohamed Hatta. And sitting next to him in the service charge chair is Gumaru Lelia. Ready to play. Well, they've been on the circuit for a while, these Stoeva sisters, and as you said, Greg, very solid outfit. Yes, uh, defense, very, very impressive. Uh, we were actually, so I'm in the mixed doubles with my my wife uh, and, and partner jenny jenny mares and we actually got allocated training time to train with the stoevers oh, right. on the main course so we did a little practice with them and i can say yeah we had some very long rallies oh that's brilliant that's great so i know they game a little bit <laughs> well let's see who turns up here first and it really is that's been the theme of the day really on court one is to which pair or player can settle into their rhythm fast enough um, yeah, as we good. saw, you know, Zheng Shi Wei and Huang Yashong, they settled fast enough, but they, in the end, pushed right to the last point. Um, Aya Hori also started well, but Wang Ji settled into that rhythm and, and uh, came through. On my right. So about ready Gabriela to get underway here. And Stefani Stefa, Bulgaria. And on my left. Rawinda Prajongjai and Jongkol Pham Kiki Tarakul, Thailand. <laughs> Definitely a few fans in the, in the auditorium for the Thai pair. Jongkol Pham Kiki Tarakul. 
Lovell Flay. That was nice from Kitty Tarkin. Yeah, good placement down the middle, a little bit of uncertainty there at the start of the match, but this is going to be, I think, a very exciting match with the Thai pair, very attacking, skillful. And, and they're always loving to get on the attack, yeah. these two. A great matchup against a pair that are quite happy defending. Well, that's, I mean, that's one of the greatest matchups in sport, best attack against the best defense. Yeah. Can't ask for anything more than that. And of course, that's no disrespect to everybody else in the women's doubles division. I've just realized that they're not specifically the best attack. It's a good attack against a good defense. That's what you look for. But I do think in order to win this match, the Stoeva sisters are yeah. going to need to get on the attack as well. They can't be too defensive. Absolutely. And the only reason I said they aren't the best attack is because uh, Chen Sing Chen and Jia Yifan might just be watching right now. <laughs> anyway, so Chen and Jia, you of course are not playing here, you withdrew for this one. But by far, oh that's a great little bounce off the net. So the Sora, one, two. Just using that, there you go. Very difficult to reset yourself when you're on the move. Certainly the Thai pair asking all the questions here early on. And the Stoeva sisters happy to settle into that flat defense. And again, big power coming in from Kititago for Chong Jai now into the play. She's pushed that wide. They are guilty at times of a couple of unforced errors here and there. Yeah, the drift in the arena from left to right, just, I think, taking that wide. Yeah, I think that was definitely it. But you can definitely push it harder going left, like we've just seen there on that return of serve. Well, from what we've seen this morning, you can literally bend it into the top corner. Right? Yeah. That's certainly one area of the drift that's been identified. I said this front court, as you see it on your screen, left side, and also has seen some mysterious misses in the two matches we've seen before. Oh, that's a nice pickup by Prajongjai. Oh, and that's a good winner from Nisto Avers. What a great cross court smash so that. And a very well Three, built rally there. Four. They didn't get impatient when they maybe had a chance to finish the rally. Patience is so important, isn't it? Yeah, especially rallies. in this discipline where uh, defences are so great. So far, it's been a very attacking yeah. match. Well, certainly the Thai pair have wasted absolutely no time in getting on the attack. And now the Stoeva's also giving as good as they can get. 
So, five all, just like that. Things are leveled up. But a very open match, as you said, Greg. It's been entertaining to watch so far. Yeah, very tight to start. Just like their their head to head, six five, over the years, and one all in 2023. Oh, really? They were one all in 2023. Yeah. Wow. They really have been at it. That's a great pickup. Oh, that was a wonderful. Two lovely right. stop drops in a row. Yeah. Disguise drop Six. shots. That's a, uh, Kitty Tarakul is very, very good at this. Exactly this, just finding that area close to the net. But, you know, so, as is the case these days in women's doubles, it's not so much like the mixed doubles, that fixed area of uh, with the male player at the back and the female player up in the net. You have to be interchangeable in men's and women's doubles these days. And both of them do like to get on the attack. And so both the are very good at all. exercising front court and back court attacks. Yeah. And that's how these divisions have evolved. Absolutely. I think in uh, men's doubles, more you'll yeah. see where it's just they have a favored yeah. front, front and back uh, combination. Seven, six. I mean, while there is rotation, it's, it's essentially a left and a right, and you, you should be able to defend, you know, all three parts of the court well. So, 7-6 now. Stoiva's slight advantage as we head towards that first mid-game interval. Service over. 7 all. serve and that gives the Taipei the initiative immediately to get on the attack good rotation and a nice drop right down the middle there it is again <laughs> the Eight, stop drop seven. it's proving to be effective so 8-7 Still no buffer, really. Yeah. I think the Stoeva sisters really need to work on their lift quality now to make sure every lift's right to the back. So anything short, yeah. anything short, going to be. have lots of options. And it'll immediately give them that attacking initiative. There's a mistake. Right. Eight. Oh. by Stefani. Got a very powerful smash. Stephanie Soeva. That's the lift I'm talking about. Yeah. Right to the back. Makes it harder to attack. And does still come back. Service over. Nine, eight. Oh, Winda Prajongjai, she gets on her game. Can be a handful to say the least. So a good start to 2024. Last year, the Taipei semi finalists, the Stover sisters, did not feature in the draw last year. Now, Greg, I do know that in terms of ranking points, it helps to match the result you so had last year. Nine, oh. Yeah, if you if So you if you were a semi-finalist last year, yeah. you, you should be a semi-finalist this year. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, hopefully, but yeah, in terms of Yeah, that would be ideal, um, <laughs> because obviously, yeah, it's a 12-month uh, rolling ranking, so yeah. it, 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 that will drop off your ranking, which often adds extra pressure to players indeed. Yeah, especially in these times when qualifying points are all the more valuable. Uh, 
of course, talking about Olympics. Good rotation by the Easter Wavers. Now back to a flat defence. Still a very fast attacking rally. Yeah. Using the full area of the court as well. Oh, just pushed that too long. Too enthusiastic that time. Service over. Tank nine. Yeah, they need to really stay disciplined and make sure that they're waiting for the right opportunity to hit that winning shot. Because if you go for it when it's not quite on, that's when the mistakes creep in. So back on court, and 11, just nine. two points in it right now. It's been a fascinating encounter so far. And tricky serve. Yeah, it just opened up the three-point gap for the first time this game. Well, it's always in their best interest to get some kind of a buffer before you get to the business end of any game. You certainly don't want to be dicing with extra points. That's something you know much about, actually, from this week, right? Yeah. Getting into that 24-22, was it, the first yeah. game? Yeah. That's nerve-wracking stuff. It could be a bit of a lottery at the end as well. Yeah. Of course, the worst situation is if, uh, if you know, you're dicing with game point for you and match point for your opponent. That's that's when you've got to be really, really careful. 13-9, though, and then beginning to turn the screw. Kitty Tower, Gullen, Prajong Jai. Yeah, this is a better rally from the Stoeva sisters there. They've managed to get on the attack for large parts of the rally, which I think in the previous rallies, that's why they've lost, because they've been too defensive. Well, they're doing the hard yards. They're, they're defending well enough. I think it's more a question of moving Four forward, ten, grabbing the rally, basically make, getting it more incisive. But right now, playing out the rally is well enough. But I think it's the tie pair that seem to be jumping on them uh, whenever they can. And that's what's led to this five-point lead. That's gone long. Service over. Yeah, they've definitely been more... 10, 14. Decisive, yeah. Clini clinical in attack. Clinical, that's the word. Clinical, exactly. Eleven fourteen. Return the sata. Quit all and win. Change. Shuffle change. I like to see that as well. A good little turn into the gap on the court. And, uh, 
and a soft shot to win the rally. It is amazing still how quickly these shuttles degrade. People like you, Greg. It's <laughs> players like you. But I, I, you know what? I guess you keep the shuttle making industry <laughs> in good, healthy stead. It's amazing how many shuttles that, um, you get through in one tournament. Yeah, I know they don't all go to waste so as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I've heard of reuse in local local clubs. It's just so in anything, it, yeah. players, we're just contributing more, you know. Well, no, <laughs> it's true. I mean, it, in all systems, there are there are things that, that move through. But the the truth of the matter is that um, you know some of these big companies, Yonex and the, and the rest of them, have tried 16, different materials 11. over the years to make shuttles. They just aren't right feathers are the way to go if you want to keep that flight trajectory right yep and i know it's still in the works well, there's constant development and this is a great breakthrough 17, by and Pajongjai. they've just been on a good point run so far pulling away and again for me a little bit i know it's their style but a little bit too defensive in this way that's the right they they need to step up and be counted really oh, that's, that's good a great that's shot. good that cross court's so been Zora, working well 12 17. in fact we'll call that the terry he classic because that's what he was doing this morning he said he is phenomenal that shot that was another wonderful performance by them and don't forget of course if you missed any of it and you shouldn't have then uh you can catch all the highlights on bwf youtube channels Service over, 18-12. 18-12, and the probability is now falling with the tie pair. It's a little bit more attacking by the Stoivers. The defense from the tie pair is so oh, solid. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, I jinxed nice. them. Service over, 13 <laughs> Got a great 18. defense earlier on in that rally. Oh, that's a good final shot there by Gabriella and gets a string broken for Stephanie service over 1913 well they really are talismanic figures for Bulgarian badminton, these Stoeva sisters, and to have been on tour and to have succeeded on tour enough to, um, you know, to have really made an impact. And I certainly do hope that there are plenty of young girls in Bulgaria that are following their um, example. Yeah, definitely. Well, it only Overall. takes one. I mean, if you look at the, especially the Indian badminton scene, uh, it was signed in AWOL and PV Sindhu. Yeah. Eff effectively created a wave of badminton players. And now, if you look at their Thomas Cup um, success last yeah, year, so yeah. it's, you, know, you just get these, the evolution of the story is the most important part, really. Yeah, inspiring the next generation. And yeah, yeah Indian badminton's on fire. Absolutely, absolutely. And we've still got a couple of representatives in the Indonesian Masters as well. So, they've been held at 19. That's a right so idea, though. Yeah, no, that's from defense to attack. A little 14. bit out, so six game points for the tie pair. Okay. And it's a mistake there again. So 21-14 with 19 minutes played. Oh, 
Как след това инициатива? Малко по-постоянни атаки по време на защитата, по-разнообразни. Две-три спасявания на практика, такива хубави къси за защита, това, че излезе малко на себе, които са Ще стана, че влезна в ферата, така че възползват се. Не е лично само на задната част на това. Другото, което е там, е високото от време на време, с къси сервис, но било е високо. So back on court for game two. And the Stony River sisters out early with a new court plan. One, 20 short seconds. Court second one, second game. 20 seconds. Second game. Love all. And now it's going to be interesting to see Play. what Kiditara Kul and Prajongjai can do from this slightly better side of the court, drift-wise. Service over. One love. That's good. Incisive pressure by so Rwinda so Prajongjai. One, two. So an interesting start to this one. second game so far. It's been a little bit more attacking from the Stoeva sisters, but not much. And they've certainly had to with you or endure some heavy attacking from the Thai pair. Two, three. Tape, yeah, look at the tape on her shoulder. Yeah, I was just about to say, again, this you really have to get the close-ups to get the, the full idea. That's a lot of tape. 30 years old, both of them, Prajong Jai and Kitty Tarabu. Three, all. That is a lot of tape. really going to be about these next five or six points and ideally for the Stoevers if they can push forward and that's what I mean Greg they're trying to attack, they're trying to move forward, but they still get caught in this Four, defensive pattern. Three. That's a beautiful shot. It's a fantastic winner. Um, yeah, that's a bit, a bit over eager there, there from the Thai pair. Just hasn't been as consistent as they possibly like, but still, as I said, a good start from them. The in the second game so far. Again, remember they are now playing with the drift. 
And that's what Rowinda Prajongjai does well. She restarts reading the net. And she can start clearing up. Good anticipation here. Yeah, as soon as there's a, a loose, short lift from the Stoeva sisters, they're very quick to capitalise. Defence by Prajongjai. It's just gone long. Five, four. I would have thought that was close enough for a challenge. Let's look at it again. Listen oh, that, but from where they were standing, yeah, I would have thought definitely. Hard to tell. Nice little drop into the corner, and that's uh, well, so as we saw, see it. Five, front court, four. right side. That's been a good source of points for them in the second game so far. Yeah, it was a fantastic flat inter interchange, and then the ability to just play that soft one after hitting hard. It's a very good skill. So it's over. It always Six, seems to happen five. just at the point that you need. Yeah. Five five in the second game. That's when the service error turns up. Out. Service over. Six all. <laughs> that quite often happens as well. As soon as one service error comes in, <laughs> it <laughs> opens the floodgates. Yeah. I will always be in consistent Seven, awe six. of the pressures that you badminton players go through. <laughs> Seriously, the psychological pressures. It's tiny little things that you don't see on the yeah. screen, you know, when you're standing on court. Leon. It's not just the drift, it's a whole number, it's a matter of... It has everything. Yeah, it's a, it's a complicated situation to get through. <laughs> nice pressure by Prajongjai. Forces... Seven, all. That return to be a little short. Yeah, we're seeing a similar pattern to what we the saw in the game. first game yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. And if that's going to continue, that means that uh, the Thai pair are going to try and step it up a little bit in about three or four points, which is what they did very well. And they kind of left the Stoevas in their taillights. And then you get into that cycle of, of being behind because, as you said earlier, um, you, there's a natural instinct to overcomplicate things if you're trying to catch up. Yeah. Scoreboard pressure. Yeah. Eight, seven. Again, good pressure yeah, by Prajongjai. She's been good at the front. Seven. Yeah, they've just increased the speed a little bit now, and the Waivers have looked a little bit off the pace, making some mistakes, and you can't afford to do that. Very early onto the mid-court there. Such quality lifting around the yeah. back of the court. And that was a nice touch by Stefani. All four players involved in this. Gabriela Stoeva, now there you go. Oh, that's a nice shot into the corner. But they can just good. get up and get a good high lift back in, reset the rally. And what a good rally this is. Yeah, I think this might actually, that might be rally of the match. That was really good. Good work rate from all four players. Certainly getting stuck in. It's about the points, and the point again falls to the Thai pair, who are just on the brink of the second mid-game interval lead. Yeah, and that was the longest rally of the match, 53 shots. It's worthy of it. It's not just being 53 shots, I'd say at least 50 of those shots. Were very well fought, very, very well played. 
Nelson. Pretty big misread for the back line. 11-7 <laughs> at the second break. So on we go. That's a very important phase of play for the Stueva sisters. Eight, eleven. Yeah, and this is the first time Stephanie Stueva serving since that service error she made. So I'm interested to see if she'll do a flick serve here. There we go. <laughs> so That's another over. fascinating area well, of badminton. Just the service protocol, not just how you serve, but the choice of serve and the options of serve is almost a game in itself. Yeah. Service over. Nine. Well, that's a good start well. from them here. They need to keep pace with the scoreline. If they're going to make any kind of chance of this, once again, job one, very similar to the Singaporean pair that kicked off the day, job one is to force a third and deciding game. We can deal with job two, we get job one sorted. Oh, that's nice. That's a beautiful, beautiful stop drop. Ten, very nice. Twelve. All of disguise. Yeah, I think taking note of the ones they had against them in the in the first game. It certainly works and it looks very effective indeed. As you can see just from the couple of steps they had to take. It's high pair court flat footed, back court. 11, 12. Yeah, you can see Stephanie Stoeva, I know they do favour this formation in their partnership, is usually wanting to go to the rear court. It has a more powerful attack and Gabriela Stoeva is more proficient around the net. Yeah. Exact situation that we see here. We are serving. Great block, and she's in the back. Yeah, look up at the sky for Gabriela. Can't afford any mistakes from here. No, that's crucial. Just had a few points back. Yep, if they can hang on. And that aim of forcing a third game will still be alive. But they just can't afford to go back three or four points here. And they're already two points back now. Nice pick up by Kitty Tarakul. Very and good. Nicely finished off. So Gabriela Stoeva. Yeah, that's a nice skill off and you'll see players not try and hit a winning shot on that first one to avoid making a mistake, but then they know that it's really difficult for their opponents to turn that cross right. when they're yeah. ready on the straight. Well left. Yeah, the back oh. level. Yeah, that's it. That's all I had to do. A good burst here. Do the wonders. <sighs> Tried it again. This time, a little bit loose. Yeah, 
there. They need to be going over. So one point between them right now. Great power by Peter Targan. Yeah, good attack again. Just another a short lift. I think the difference so far in this match has been those, the ties yeah. pair, ties ability to get the lifts away and right to the back and out of trouble. Or keep it flat at yeah. the front. Yeah. And then, yeah, win, win, win those points. A couple less of unforced errors. Just not feeding into the opponents play with lifts, or loose lifts, I should say, these short lifts at the front. Yeah. For John Jai at the back. Still Rawinda. And then Kitatarako winds up for that one. Hit so hard, I think some of her tape came off. Yeah. Just look at the way she winds up with this. Absolutely That's, no way. Yeah. That's not coming back. <laughs> and that was an important point. So they've again, much like the first game, as we said, uh, broken away, second half of the game. Four points ahead. Yeah, there we go. Again, with the target at the front. Yeah. Winning another point on the attack. Very steep angle. Yeah. Four-point lead. I think showing the form that the Thai pair have shown oh, in the yeah. last two weeks of tournaments in Absolutely. Malaysia and India. They lost in the last 16 both times. Yeah. But played but very good matches. Exactly. I completely agree with you. Well, I did say it at the beginning of the match, if they do get into their stride, then this Thai pair um, can go deep into tournaments. That's the thing, they, they, they really do have that skill. Uh, last year, a couple of runner-up spots. Arctic Open and the French Open, and both yeah. against Lu Sheng Shu and Tan yes. Ning. Those are incredible players. That's a very nice shot there into the corner. Yeah, so, yeah, two high-level players, high-level tournaments last year in the final. Well, they're a bit bunched up at the back now. Now they're beginning to spread themselves. Crucial point. Straight on the attack for a win to Jai. She just almost doesn't have another gear. Oh, that was such an awkward take. I don't know what, what kind of shot you call that. It's kind of a backhand 17, over the shoulder. I mean, that's its success rate, obviously. It's not yeah, amazingly they managed, productive. They managed but to they, survive yeah, the onslaught they, of attack there, the three over sisters. Oh, this is the kind of point that's really going to lodge in your head if you're four points up yeah. and they tie it up at 18. Another, another quick serve, potentially. She's just shown a low serve. I think they're just waiting for the next Indonesian player to enter the arena. Yeah, it's very <laughs> get that, loud. Get that, uh, that scream out the way. It's Putri Kasuma Wadani. And he's heading. There it is, it's another flick. Oh, yep. Puchong Jai again patrolling the back line. Yeah, they've gone into speed mode. Oh, nice take by Kiki Tarakul. Great rally. It's a fantastic rally, yeah. These two waivers looking for a way in. One of the best rallies of the match. At such an important stage. Good coverage by Prajong Jai.
They're being careful. That's a great rotation by the Thais. It had everything. It had absolutely everything. And you so know what, over. Greg, there were a couple 19, of moments 17. in that rally when I think the Stoebas could have been a little bit more incisive. They yeah. actually had the Thai uh, ladies on the ropes in they terms did. of defending. Such Fred, a shame. Longest rally of the match. 79 shots. Yeah, yeah that's more like a women's double kind of stats. I was one of the commentators on hand for the famous 211 shot. Yeah. Um, Malaysians, Pearly Tan and uh, Tina. Incredible, but yeah, I think that, that rally here had, it was high paced the whole it, time. Yeah, it, it was not only had pace, it, it was yeah. a lot of stretching needed for that. Yeah. And uh, a lot of coverage and credit to the Stoebas for, for placing it into those corners. But in the end, it was a mistake into the top left corner that made yeah. the difference. As we've said, that's been the difference. Another great defense from Prachong Jai. Kitty Tarakul into the mix. Oh, that is so a, clever. That is a stinging. As I said, yeah, Gabriel Stewart has been wanting to go forwards. Yeah. So that she's made that move and just wonderful caught her off guard. So three match points. Well, the last time they met at the Orléans Masters Final, that was 21-16, 21-16 to the Taipan, 21-14, 21-18, maybe on the cards here. But they're still close enough to make a difference. They step up in these two points. Well, there's one of them. Match point saved. 19-20. Great attack. And very clinical, which is what you need to be. Where this was pair. that in the first game? <laughs> Where was that pressure, that intensity? Well, it's never too late if they can turn this round in a second. Oh, it was the power from Prajongjai in the end. And that angle just steep enough. Well, that was a great match between them again, and of course now it's tied up at 6-6, they're head-to-head. 21-14, 21-19, 42 minutes. And the tie pair of John Kolfan, Kitty Tarakun, and Rawinda Prajongjai have made it through to the quarterfinals. Match won by John Colpam. And there's confirmation of it. 21-14, 21-19. And they move on.
Great performance there by Kitty Tarkle and Prajong Joint. Straight Games win over the Story of the Sisters in 43 minutes. And up next, it's a huge match. Men's singles, Lee Zijia uh, from Malaysia taking on Ankar Long, Angus from Hong Kong.